Hey, how's it going everybody? In this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to distribute layers along the path of a circle and achieve this kind of result with an expression. And of course you could do something like this manually, but that takes a lot of time. With this expression, you can just duplicate the layers and it automatically aligns to the circle and you can replace with new images. I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So let's dive right in. I have a bunch of images here and I'm just gonna drag it so you can see. Now they're all different sizes, but we'll need to adjust that later. Let's just work with one image here. I'm gonna scale it down and center it. Also make sure the anchor point is centered. And now let's just create a null around which these layers will be rotating. So I'm just gonna create a null and name it controller. Now I'm gonna open up the position property by hitting P and I'll click the timer to add our expression. Now we've got four lines of expression to be exact and I'm gonna create a variable here that's gonna store the value of the radius of the circle. And this is gonna help us determine the path along which these layers will be rotating. We could just add a random value here to store that radius, but I'm just gonna go a step further and add a slider control on this controller so that we can change this value later. So I'm gonna create a slider control. Oh, by the way, if you don't have this shortcut by Video Copilot, you can always go to Effect, Expression Controls, and select Slider Control from there. Um, now, I'm gonna use the Pick Whip to store, link this to the slider and just name it to whatever you like. I'm gonna say Radius of Circle. It doesn't matter what you name it. And we have that value stored here. Let's use semicolon and move to the next line. And the second thing we need is the radian. So I'm gonna create a variable called radian and the value we'll be storing here is gonna be determined by a JavaScript function called degrees to radians. Now just bear with me here. I'm not an expert in JavaScript myself, but you know, I, I think we can get through this. So stay with me. Um, I'm gonna pull up some images here to show what this function will return. The basic understanding here is that this will determine the angle at which this 360 degrees will be divided and the corresponding position of that on the radius of the circle. So imagine we have like 12 images and that need to be distributed along this 360 degrees so 360 divided by 12 gives us that value of 30 which is the radian so yeah i hope that makes sense but if not you can still follow along um i'm just gonna type in degrees to radian function here a circle has 360 degrees so that's gonna be first and we're gonna have 12 images but in case we decide to change that later i'm gonna create a slider control again and I don't know just name it radiant so that we can understand and link that to the slider now before we move on to the next line we need to multiply this with index and index if you don't know is the number you see here in the timeline in front of the layer so when you duplicate this number is going to change that value let's end it with the parentheses and a semicolon and move on to the next line now that we have these two values stored in these two variables we're gonna perform a math function that will determine the x and y position on the radius of this circle we're gonna be using trigonometric functions like sine and cosine but if you're unfamiliar with that I'll drop a link in the description, but you can still follow along if you're not interested in that. So let's move along. X equals, let's add math.sign function. Inside the parenthesis, let's add the radian value and multiply it with the radius of the circle. Let's do the same for Y 
equals math dot cosine and include the radian value inside the parenthesis multiply it with the radius of circle and return x and y position and that's the expression i'm gonna add this to the description the expression here has an error because we haven't set the value on the slider once you set that let's say you have 12 images so i'm gonna enter a value of 12 and you can see the image just jumped its position to zero zero coordinates so to counter that i'm gonna move the null to zero zero coordinates as well and link the image to the controller and then move it back to the center and now if we select the controller and adjust the radius of the circle you can see that it's moving away from the center of the controller and you can play around with the size change the radius and then finally you can start duplicating this image and that will distribute the image along the radius of the circle. You can change the radiant value. If we have six images, you can change it to six. If you want it to be eight, just change the value and duplicate the image. So now you have eight images distributed equally along the circle. I'm gonna change it back to 12 and duplicate this two more times so that we have 12. Now to replace the images with new images, what you need to do is click the layer in the timeline, all click and drag the new image from the project and that will replace the image here in the timeline. If that's too tiring for you, you can just select the layer on the timeline and select the layer in the project panel and hit control alt slash. That will also swap the images you have from the project panel. Now I'm just gonna do that for all the images, scale it up, and you have this. Now, uh, the next step will be to rotate this around the controller. So I'm gonna do that next. I'm gonna hit R and rotate this. Since all the images are parented to the controller, they're going to follow the rotation of the controller. So to counter that, I'll click the rotation, link it to the rotation of the controller and multiply it with minus one. So asterisk minus one. And that will counter the rotation as you can see here. So let's copy this expression and paste it for all the other images. And now if you rotate I'm just going to create a quick expression to keep this rotating by time times 50 and we have this result. So yeah, that that's basically how you do this. You can change the radius anytime. You can change the speed of the rotation. You can do that manually as well by using keyframes. So yeah, that's basically how you distribute layers along a circle and have the flexibility of quickly changing them and not having to do all the manual work involved. So uh, I'll post this expression in the description. If this has helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.